Hey crawlers, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Guys, today I have another contraption. Uh, this is my first time ever in Minecraft brewing, but I uh, wanted to give it a shot, and this is what I got. And the new snapshot 13W03A, they added a new block called the dropper. And with the dropper, you can now force items into a uh, an item, something that holds items. So, like, you can power a dropper and push items into, say, a brewing stand or push them into, you know, anything, like, into a chest, something like that. And uh, with this new mechanic, I thought this would be a great opportunity to test out some brewing. So, here we go, guys. This is my first design. Uh, this is a 5x5x3 five by five by design. It, uh, it can hold between one and three different ingredients, if you guys are unfamiliar with how potions work. Uh, when you have po uh, water down here in bottles, uh, your first ingredient will go up here, and it'll go down, and it'll change what your bottles are. And then the second ingredient will come down, and then the third ingredient. So this will do up to three ingredients. And the one I'm currently doing right now is the potion of poison. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. I'm going to press the button. All right, you guys can see here the first ingredient is nether wart, and if I look up here, the next one's going to be spider eye, and then glowstone. So yeah, and while that's brewing, I want to go ahead and show you guys how this is back here. Uh, so the redstone is quite simple. Um, you just have uh, a dropper. You have two droppers in the side here, two droppers right here, and one behind this hopper up at the top and then the wiring is pretty simple uh, one redstone on the back of that hopper a repeater set to four and a repeater set to one um, it is quite simple and then from here these are your reload chests so basically you just hop in these chests and just reload the items if you need potions reload your potions uh, and then this one is your uh, spider eye I think that's what that is. Uh, glowstone and nether wart. And then this one also over here is water. So it's it works fairly simple and it's pretty easy to access the restocking area, which is really nice. Okay, so let's come back down here. And what do we have? Uh, potions of poison. The only thing that it doesn't do is suck them, uh, suck them out of the brewing stand. Uh, I don't find a need really to make it that fully automated because I don't think anybody's going to plan on using the potions to that extent. But uh, so this is a pretty fairly, it's fairly simple design. Also, guys, it is tileable. Uh, so you can put one right next to the other. Uh, the only difference here is uh, you have a chest here. So you'll have to stagger the chest. Like this one will have to be a redstone chest and this one will have to be a regular chest so that when they're tiled uh, the two chests will be separate uh, that's the only thing that you would really have to worry about uh, so that is the one to three ingredient design now we're gonna move on to the other design now guys this design ignore those <laughs> I was messing around um, this design is really awesome. This is the four ingredient design. What's awesome about this one is it's five by seven by two and the two is the depth. It is only two deep. Look at that, one, two. This is just a wall, uh, just a design I put in the front, not needed. Uh, so it is, it is only two wide. So two by five wide, I mean two deep, five wide and seven high one two and then five from there to there uh and what i got here uh this is going to be mostly used for splash potions because splash potions are kind of need that extra little extra oomph at the end so this one has um the the water it has the glistening melon that's what's going to come first uh or actually it's the nether wart that comes first then glistening melon then glowstone and then here's the kicker right here this is the number four this is the uh, uh, oh yeah, the the gunpowder 
And uh, the gunpowder is what makes it a splash potion. So the redstone on this one is like super easy. It's even more, con it's easier than the other one. Uh, you just have redstone out on the other side of this dropper uh, with a repeater set to one. And uh, another piece of redstone right there. And that's, that's everything. That's all of the wiring you need. Uh, the only like bad part of this design, I think, is that you see the repeater right back there. Alright guys, I'm now going to show you to make sure that uh, you guys can see that this design works. Uh, go ahead and click that button and then of course uh, first is the nether wart that's coming in and again if we click this guy up here the next one that's going to come in is the glistening melon then the glowstone and the gunpowder. So uh, yeah, I have so far I have a hundred percent success rating on these designs uh, they work absolutely 100%. Uh, now the last design, last but not least for sure, is uh, this design right here. Um, one of the people on the stream, oh, I for, uh, MLG programmer, uh, or MLG programmer, I'm still not quite sure which one it is, uh, came up with this design, which works really well as well. Uh, it The refilling areas are a little, little more difficult to reach. Uh, yeah, you guys can can see that it's a little more difficult on this one. However, it does use pistons. So if that's something you guys are interested in, I was looking for a design that would work well with pistons. And uh, this is what he came up with. And it's 100% efficient. You just have to reload the dispensers directly on some of them. So, But that's about it. All right, guys, so I decided not to do a tutorial because I figure these are simple enough that you guys can figure them out. They're not too complicated. Um, this design is, again, fairly simple. Uh, you're basically just going to make the same design as over there with the droppers. So you got two droppers over here, two droppers on this side, and then you have this dropper. Oops, you have this dropper in the back. And then one right above that. So th these two are droppers right here. And they're just staggered by up one block. And uh, pretty much all you guys got to do is look at the wiring. And it's pretty much set in stone. Y you guys can pause at any time to figure it out. The only thing that you guys may not have noticed is this lever down here. And uh, what this lever does is it just, all it does is it powers on to make sure that this dispenser uh, right here on the right uh, dispenses two potions or two water bottles instead of one that's all it does so yeah so make sure you have this lever here and that's on and the same thing's gonna happen on this one it's the same thing so the levers down here touching that block and it's on so anyways guys that's going to be it for me today I hope you guys like this video if you did please do like the video it helps me out a lot uh, and as always, guys, keep crawling, and peace out.